Bad Boy Bubby from Australia's uh, Umbrella Films. I've heard a lot about this movie. Never actually have seen it. I think Blue Underground released it a long time ago on Blue, uh, uh, Blu-ray, and it kind of went gone with the wind, as you would say. But here is the slipcover. This is part of their Beyond Genre thing. This is Volume 7. I have all seven of these, or I did. I think I still do. Uh, Region B, it says, but it will, it will play. I've yet to see one of these that won't play at an American player. Australia is pretty cool about forgetting to lock things, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, you can see there maybe the extras on this. If not, uh, I'll list them below. But you've got the audio commentary. You've got you know features, 25th anniversary Q&A, short film still gallery. Basically, the movie's about a guy named uh, Bubby that you see here that is living with his mother. I ain't even going to try to explain this image. And... She's using him as a husband in some regards, in a lot of regards, if you know what I'm saying. It's a picture of stuff from the movie there. Uh, she, he's told he can't leave the house because he will die if he doesn't have a gas mask on. Meanwhile, his mother leaves him in places, tells him do not move till she gets back, and he'll sit there and use the bathroom on himself or whatever because God's watching. And uh, that's what he gets told nonetheless. And then finally one day, Daddy comes home, and Daddy's kind of back with Mom, and Bubby doesn't really like that. So that leads to one thing and another. And before you know it, Bubby is loose on the city, experiencing life for himself for the first time, and that leads to a bunch of awkwardness, some violence, and some complicated problems that make up the plot of Bad Boy Bubby. Personally, I like the movie. It's it's not going to be for everybody. I give it a three and a half out of five. I think the transfer looks great. Uh, did not see the old Blue Underground one, so it could be the same transfer as far as I know. But, uh, it, like I said, it's, it's one of those films that's it's grimy, it's grungy, it kind of makes you feel dirty when you watch it. I can see a lot of people loving it, and I can see a lot of people hating it. I know it has a pretty good reputation online amongst people as being quite interesting. Maybe that's because of the artistic nature of it in some regards, and maybe the performance of our lead actor, which I obviously don't know his name. But, uh... Uh, Nicholas, Nicholas Hope, who gives a, definitely an A-grade performance in this, even if the rest of the movie might not be what you want to watch. But it's a good release from a company that puts out a lot of good stuff, and I'm always happy when they release stuff like this that is region-free, because it's less complicated for people like me to watch. They're doing Psycho Goreman under the same line, and I can't wait for that as well. But that's Bad Boy Bubby. It's from Australia. It looks good. It's a great package. Uh, easier to come by, I imagine, than the old Blue Underground version. And it's something that you're, that you're definitely going to want to watch once, even if you never pick it up and watch it again.